guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is something a little bit different, but I thought this was super important. I have to share a quick story with you. Yesterday, I was laminating. I wanted to laminate some of my journaling cards. I was laminating some of my papers from my Honeybee Shop Babe boxes and I was just having fun, laminating die cuts. You know, I like to laminate my die cuts sometimes and cut them out and just display them like my pockets and things. Well, right, with, right as I was finishing up and about to go to sleep, this happened. Um, so I destroyed one of my Honeybee Shop die cuts. I'm really upset about it. And this little tag here, I think is what jammed the laminator. And anyway, I never thought I was gonna be able to get this out of the machine. It was stuck right here in the front. And so what did I do? I went on YouTube. I searched for the, the model of this laminator, which you see is the Scotch model TL906. I purchased this at Target this year and it was in one of my um, previous videos. I will link to that. Absolutely love this thing, but it got jammed and I was really upset. And I sat there for probably a good hour with tweezers trying to pull this thing out because I couldn't figure out how to take this apart. I took out all the visible screws and I couldn't figure out how to get into this thing. Well, guess what? Today I'm gonna teach you, if you have this laminator, I'm gonna teach you how to take it apart and unjam it. Now I didn't put the screws back in because I wanna show you what it looks like when you open it and show you how to open it and all that. So I didn't put it back together. What I did was I flipped it over like this, okay? And you'll see again, the visible screws are these two, one down there, one down here, one right there, and then there's a hidden screw. This was a sticker. If you can see, this was a sticker and it says quality control passed, warranty voided if sticker is removed. Well, what do you know? Guess what's down there in that hole? And it's pretty deep down there, a screw. So that is the screw that I couldn't get out and that's why I couldn't take it apart. All right, so to get into this thing, you don't need to worry about these two. I originally took them off, but then realized I didn't need to. So don't worry about those. You need to take out the following screws. So there's one here under this handle. There's one on the inside. There's one underneath, this one's easy to miss too. There's one underneath the cord, where kind of the cord goes to hide it. There's one there. There's one right there. One over here. And then this one underneath the sticker. So I didn't peel it off, I just, I poked in there with a screwdriver and realized there was a screw down in there. So once you've taken all of those out, what you can do is sit it upright. So you can kind of grab right here by the handle and just push up until it pops off and it'll pop off just like this. So when I got to this point, I saw my jammed up laminating pouch just sticking right out of here. And it was, it was rolled up in there pretty good. So what I did was I just very slowly just kept pulling it out until it came completely out of those rollers. And this is what I pulled out. And the biggest thing is just getting it apart. Um, don't do what I did and try to pull through the front. It was a hot mess. And be sure you don't mess with this stuff. Um, you don't want to, you know, mess with, with any of this. And so you just pull whatever is stuck, pull it out very slowly. If it's particularly hard to get out, you may need a pair of pliers, but I just used my fingers and I just had to just keep pulling very slowly until I could get it out. And then to put it back together. Now, sometimes this will fall out this blue piece. Um, when I originally took it apart, it fell out. You just have to make sure to put it into the grooves here. So let me show you. Now this piece is uh, just plastic, you know, and you'll see that on each side, there's kind of a groove where these go in. And you just wanna stick it down there at the bottom. 
can be a little bit tricky to get both of them in. As you can see, it is a little bit tricky to make sure it's in on both sides. There we go. And then when you go to put it back, it just kind of snaps back together. And then you'll see this tray is just used to hold the paper. And now I'm gonna put all the screws back in. If the cord really gets in your way, this here is for wrapping the cord to get it out of the way. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so you'll see here that the screws, I believe these are all the same length. Yes, and there's just one teeny little short screw. Okay, so this teeny little short screw here goes where the handle is. And I'm honestly not even sure why it's there. It doesn't need to be there at all. But you can put it back in there. And then the rest are all the same size. So you'll just start dropping those in. And I did want to mention that this screw down here, like I said, it is really down in there. So you're going to need a longer screwdriver. When I was first doing this, I had one that was about that long and it wouldn't, it would hit the handle and it wouldn't reach. So just make sure you have a long screwdriver to get that one back in. So now I'm going to go set this back up and turn it on and show you guys that it does in fact work. All right, y'all, she's fired up and ready to go. So I've got the closed end down and we're gonna feed it right through. And we wait. Bum, bum, bum. And she's done. All right, y'all, so you see the laminator works. She works. So I hope this was beneficial, like I said, when my laminator jammed, I went online and couldn't find anyone who had the exact same laminator as me who posted a video on how to unjam it. And be sure to stay tuned because I'm going to be using this laminator in a couple of my upcoming planless videos. I have one video coming up that is titled Five Uses for Die Cuts. And this is one way that you can use your die cuts. Even though this is a sticker, you can laminate it and cut it out and use it, put it in your pocket of your planner, use it as decoration in your photos. And also I'm gonna show you how you can make a reusable planner spread. If you have a ring bound or disc bound and you can just keep reusing the page each week, I'm gonna show you how you can laminate a spread and then reuse it every week. So I hope you guys found this beneficial. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Give this video a thumbs up on your way out and I will see you guys next time.